Coming up on Around Kern County, September is National Suicide Prevention Month. We're sharing how you can get involved with this important campaign. And did you know we're hiring? You can attend Kern County's upcoming Career Expo and start a meaningful job when Around Kern County starts now. Welcome to this week's Around Kern County. I'm your host, Ali Soper. Our county administrative building has been lit purple and teal for National Suicide Prevention Month. Throughout September, Kern County Behavioral Health and Recovery Services hopes when our community drives by, they're reminded that they are not alone. All month long, BHRS is hosting free events, workshops, and classes to raise awareness and provide resources to residents. Tuesday, September 6th and Thursday, September 8th, they're kicking off the month with two resource health fairs. Later in September, you can join them for other events, including a Stomp Out Suicide Walk, Recovery Forum, and Multi-County Suicide Prevention Summit. For more information or to inquire about BHRS training you or your business on suicide prevention, please visit kernbhrs.org. Kern County Public Works wants to help you get organized for the new school year. They're holding four household hazardous waste collection events throughout the month of September. Beginning Saturday, September 3rd, Public Works will hold a collection event at the Tehachapi Recycling and Sanitary Landfill from 9 in the morning until 1 in the afternoon. Residents can also get rid of their waste Saturday, September 10th at the McFarland Delano Transfer Station and Saturday, September 17th at the Tehachapi Recycling and Sanitary Landfill. Also on Saturday, September 24th at the Lebec Transfer Station. Residents are encouraged to drop off anything that could be considered dangerous if lying around their homes, such as cleaning products, pesticides, and other chemicals. As a reminder, hazardous waste can always be dropped off at Kern County's permanent special waste facilities located in Bakersfield, Mojave, and Ridgecrest. For more information, please visit kernpublicworks.com. And Public Works also wants to help you get rid of your bulky waste. They're hosting an upcoming free bulky waste collection event on Saturday, September 3rd, from 8 in the morning until 12 noon at Button Willow Recreation and Park District, located at 556 Milo Avenue. This event is in partnership with the Cesar Chavez Environmental Corps and Westside Waste Management Corporation. It's also designed to help combat illegal dumping in our community. Accepted bulky waste items are everything from appliances to mattresses to barbecue grills. Items not accepted include demolition and remodeling waste, household trash, commercial waste, and green waste. As a reminder, please remember to tarp or secure your items before transporting them to the collection event. For more information, please visit kernpublicworks.com. We're about two weeks away from Kern County's inaugural Career Expo. From public safety to finance to marketing, there's a place for you and your skills on our team. As public servants, our nearly 8,000 employees dedicate their time to making our community a better and safer place. If you're looking for a meaningful career where you can make an impact, then look no further than Kern County. On Saturday, September 17th, you'll get a chance to get to know our workforce from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m at our administrative building located at 1115 Truxton Avenue. Our dozens of departments will be on hand advertising their current job openings and helping you apply. So we have lots of different uh, jobs here in the county and that's what makes the county so unique. It's different than any other public agency in the county. Uh, we have a variety of different work from law enforcement, fire department, uh, our social service departments, which are human services, behavioral health and recovery services, public health, veteran services, I could go on and on. We really have so much to offer our community as far as the services that we provide and the work that we do here in Kern County is in support and all of the positions that we have are vital to uh, us serving our mission, which is to serve the residents of Kern County. We'll also be holding a series of free workshops at our Career Expo. 
including how to write a resume, interview tips and tricks, and other job-related trainings. For more information and to check out our current job openings for part-time and full-time positions, please visit our website, kerncounty.com. This week, we observe Labor Day, an annual celebration on the first Monday of September in honor of the social and economic achievements of American workers who bring prosperity and strength to our nation each and every day. We'd like to take a moment to thank and honor all of the outstanding people within our workforce who dedicate their time to making our communities a better place. From keeping our neighborhoods safe to children supported and loved, our county provides dozens of services for the welfare of our residents. Thank you to the hardworking Kern County team who makes this all possible. And we're ending today with Kern County leaders coming to an area near you. Chief Administrative Officer Ryan Alsop, Chief Operations Officer Jim Zervis, Sheriff Johnny Youngblood, District Attorney Cynthia Zimmer, and Fire Chief Aaron Duncan will be in Pine Mountain Club on Wednesday, September 7th, and Bear Valley Springs on Thursday, September 8th for educational workshops about Measure K, Kern County's unincorporated public safety, vital services, and local control measure. If enacted, this would establish a one cent locally dedicated and controlled sales tax in unincorporated Kern to address community priorities such as public safety, homelessness, attracting jobs and industries, and addressing mental health and addiction challenges. Unincorporated residents will consider this measure on the November 8, 2022 ballot. Our leaders have a series of in-person meetings left, but don't worry if you can't attend. We'll be hosting two virtual workshops later in October. For details, please visit our website, kerncounty.com. And that does it for us on this week's Around Kern County. If you have a story you'd like to share, please visit kerncounty.com and fill out our Submit a Story form. We'll see you right back here next week.